For the crew, it was not only children and animals they had to deal with, but also the extreme heat. It used to be so hot in here. Remember how hot it was in here? I remember, like, you know, you're operating and you're looking at, oh, what the hell is... And there was the boom swinger dripping perspiration down onto you. You go, ah, oh, yeah, I could have stop it! God, he had a terrible time. It was like, those days they had to have booms, you know, with the mics on the other. And filming in the house, this poor guy up a ladder, I remember, one day, temperatures of 40, 45 or something, and he suddenly fainted. I mean, it was extraordinarily hot. Not all the time, because in the winter, of course, it was all right, but in the middle of the summer, it was... And there was one time, remember, where there were bushfires all around us. And it was so bad, the bushfire, that uh, they said, oh, well, we better go inside then, because we can't film outside, rather than leave the area, which would be the sensible thing to do, because literally the sky went black, so we went and did interiors. There's your bushfire down in there. Can you imagine having that today? Whose yeah. permission did we get to light the bushfire? No one. Didn't it nearly get out of hand? It wasn't just fires. The crew took a generally relaxed attitude to all the dangers of the bush. I think we're filming a narrow bean somewhere, and I'm in the water, and I said, um, what about sharks, you know, because it's famous? And they said, oh, no, it's all right, we've got a guy looking out. You know, it'd be OK, you'll be all right in there. I mean, I think they'll like it. <laughs> Skippy, our friend, ever true. 